I love breakfast for supper. So let's just throw together a frittata. And I've already prepared some of the vegetables so you can see them. So we're going to make a four egg frittata. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to need, hmm, what do I not have here? I don't have any salt and pepper here. So let's grab a little salt and pepper. And we're going to go ahead and put the pepper in. But we're not going to put the salt in because we may not need to use it. All right, I chopped some green onions. And I'm just using what's in the refrigerator. I'm using some orange bell pepper. I like to use the orange, red, or yellow um, bell peppers because they're sweeter. They and they don't give me heartburn. I also had a pork chop in the fridge, so I chopped it up. Now my frittatas are always just what I have in the refrigerator. I'm going to use a lot of this cheese. And this is about six ounces of cream cheese. So I'm going to take a handy dandy little electric mixer. Help if I turn it on. Put the battery in it. Push the safety switch. Flex plus is really cool. So I don't have to have to have any cords. And it goes right in my drawer along with the immersion blender. It needs something a little bit more. I think we need the rest of the cheese. Let's just go ahead and take our old flexible cutting mat. We'll dump the rest of everything in there. And I'm just going to crumble up some bacon. I'm going to save a little bit of that bacon because I think I want to put it on the top of the soup. Bacon will make the frittata really good. Now I want the cream cheese totally blended. I'm going to see if we need salt or not. See if the meat was salty and the cheese. Yes, I know. It has some raw egg in it. I think it needs just a little bit. I think it needs a little more pepper. frittata mixture is together. Well, you know what? I need to butter the frying pan. A 
I want the taste of the butter in the frittata. So I usually butter pretty thickly. Now, I know I'm using a frying pan, but the handle comes off on our eight inch nonstick frying pan, and I'm gonna take the handle off and put it in the air fryer. There's some other dishes that work just as well. It's just, I like this particular dish for making frittatas. I like the shape of it when it comes out. It's perfect size for the air fryer. Okay. So here goes our frittata, our four egg frittata. And it's big enough to feed four to six people. Ready to pop in the air fryer. Isn't it pretty? air fryer on bake and eight minutes because when it comes out then and when it gets to eight minutes then I want to put a layer of cheese on the top maybe crumble a little bit of that bacon too but we'll see and I'll come back to you in a little bit and show you what it's all looking like so 15 minutes or 16 minutes in the um, air fryer and the frittata is ready. Look at how pretty and golden brown it is. And we're just going to cut it. And our soup is also ready. You notice the knife I'm using? It's our nylon knife. I like using it um, to cut things in, in the nonstick cookware. So here's our beautiful frittata. In a perfect world, I would let the frittata sit to become room temperature. And we have our glass of wine. Now let's pour up our soup. <laughs> Ooh, this is exciting. It's thick and creamy. So we've got our frittata, and we've got our soup. You know, the plate looks a little naked. Let's find something else to go in it. Let's put a few candy pecans on it. So here is supper for tonight, a frittata, a roasted pepper, and pumpkin soup. Wow, that is so good. I hope you're enjoying your supper tonight. Mm. I know I will.